Let's hear it one more time for your Miss K State 2017, Bridget Beasley. My name is Bridget Beasley and I am your Miss K State 2017. I'm currently a senior studying biology pre-med with a minor in French and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Last year I represented my sorority, Kappa Kappa Gamma, in the Miss K State competition. It was amazing to see all the support I had from all of my sisters, family, and friends that came to cheer me on. They brought posters and cutouts and were super loud every time I went on stage. It was such an incredible experience and I will never forget it. For my talent, I did improv. Um, I was heavily involved with theater and choir and performing in high school and I wanted to make sure I continued with it um, throughout college and so I auditioned for On The Spot, which is the improv team here at K-State. So I figured it'd be a good talent to have. So the skit we did for the competition was all centered around a word of suggestion that we got from the judges, which was slippers. And so we just made up a scene right on the spot. Throughout the whole thing, I was just overwhelmed with the kindness of everyone throughout the process. The men at DU were so helpful. Um, my coach, Brett, I dressed him up as an old man and he came on stage during the career round and died and then I revived him back to life with hot lids and it was really fun. He was such a trooper. Um, the other contestants were such a joy to get to know. My story sisters and friends were incredibly encouraging and the love and support since the whole thing has been such a blessing. When I heard my name called as Miss K-State 2017, I was in complete shock. I didn't imagine that I would win and just went out there to represent my organization well and have fun. I actually told my mom before the competition that I just wanted to make it to the next round, so to actually win was a really big deal. When I was crowned, it was kind of crazy because like the crown was too big for my head and it was a little bit awkward when I was walking up on stage with it, but it was still a really great experience and I'll probably never forget it ever. Um, it's been such an honor to hold the title in this case state um, because I get to represent the university that I love and adore so much. It's been so much fun to have uh, appearances on and off campus. This year as Miss K-State, I got to work the booth at the Children's Carnival. It brought me so much joy just to get to interact with the kids and help make their night. Riding the parade in the homecoming parade was unreal and wonderful and amazing and probably the best college experience I've ever had. Um, I went to elementary schools and read books to little kids. I made appearances at different K-State days. And really any time I made an appearance with the crown, there were little kids that would run over to me to take pictures or get autographs signed. I loved getting to know this year's contestants and being at rehearsals and meetings to help out in any way I could. I enjoyed informing them of the Global Service Initiative and writing letters with them to the kiddos in Jamaica. I was awarded philanthropy money when winning the title and I was able to donate it to the Lamb Foundation, which is a nonprofit that advocates and funds research for lymphangiomyomatosis, which is a rare lung disease that my mom has, so it was a blessing to be able to donate to that. This year's winner will also be able to be awarded money to give to the philanthropy of her choice. And I am also proud to see that during my reign, we added a $1,000 scholarship to the competition that will be given to the winner tonight, thanks to a few anonymous donors. This event highlights the incredible women we have at K-State and now focuses on education with the support of the scholarship as well. So what's next for me? Next fall, I'll be attending medical school at University of Oklahoma. I'm so excited to be there. It's a program that focuses on social factors in health and making sure to address the needs of the underserved in the community. I actually put the Miss K-State title on my resume when I was applying to medical school, so I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I got it. <laughs> and I'm sure everyone is also wondering what the previous title holders are up to today. Caitlin Jewell, the first Miss K-State crowned back in 2013. After graduating in December 2014, Caitlin moved to Kansas City, where she began working for an advertising agency. In 2016, she was offered a contract as a singer with Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines and is currently sailing from Galveston, Texas on the Vision of the Seas. Abby Alsop, Miss K-State 2014, recently graduated last spring with a degree in microbiology. She is currently working while in the application process of physical therapy school. Ashley Wilmoth, Miss K-State 2015, will be finishing up her final year as a Wildcat and will be receiving her master's in accountancy. She also got engaged within this past year and is looking forward to getting married in May and beginning her new job in Kansas City. Christine Rock, Miss K-State 2016, as you remember, had a platform for feeding the hungry during her reign and served as an integral part in starting Cats Covered, the food pantry on campus. She continues to study food science and political science and has added a secondary major in global food systems leadership. 
Her plan is to graduate with those three degrees in December 2018 and work in Washington, D.C. to develop food and other public policies. As Miss K-State, I hope to be remembered as being passionate about spreading joy and making others smile. Because Miss K-State has given me the opportunity to do just that. I wish the best for the next Miss K-State, and I hope that they will use their title to further happiness and joy at this wonderful school. This is a great opportunity to promote what you love, and there's no better time to do it than now.